Hey guys, it's David Franco from Student Engagement and Success here at Southwest Texas Junior College. So the month of October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, and today we have our own very own Miss Joanne Sanchez to give us her story. She's a three-time survivor and a warrior of breast cancer. Miss Joanne, we want to say thank you for everything that you do and everything that you go through. And just know that we are here for you. Um, hello, my name is Joanne Sanchez. Every year in October, I admire the month because it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and my birthday month. I stand here today as a three-time breast cancer survivor. First, I want to share with you a quick story of myself through my 15 year breast cancer journey. I found my lump by coincidence on November 7, 2004 as I was holding my newborn first grandson, Michael Angelo. I had him laying on my chest. His small head wobbled to my left side breast and I caught him with my right hand and that's when my middle finger touched something. I can imagine my face said it all as my daughter asked me. What is wrong? And I told her, I think I have a lump. She answers, don't say that. And I say, I do. I wake up my husband and tell him I have a lump. And he's like, what do you mean? I, I did not panic, but my husband tells me, tomorrow morning we'll go with the college nurse, if we work here, and talk to her and see if she can examine you. So the next morning, my life changed totally to doctor appointments and a number of exams. On November 12, 2004, just about 15 days after my 34th birthday, the pathologist called me and told me over the phone I had cancer, but could not tell me what stage or how far it had gone. On November, on, as I continue with doctor appointments, a dear friend, also a breast cancer survivor, Ms. Aradia Barker, saved me as she went with my husband and me to San Antonio she took me to her oncologist, Dr. Drangler, and the same first day visit, he examined me and let me know I was on the third stage of cancer. Upon more exams from head to toe, I then was called and told I was no longer in the third stage, I was on the fourth stage. I had it on my spine, whereas I needed to start chemo right away. My cancer was aggressive and spreading quickly. After six rounds of chemotherapy, I had surgery, whereas the lump was removed then I began a seven week everyday radiation therapy. I finally was in remission cancer free. After being in remission for one year and a half upon my six month exam checkup, I was told I had a 2.5 centimeter in size stain on my pelvic bone, whereas was cancer again. On the fourth stage in August, 2007, repeated in more harsh manner, six rounds of chemotherapy and also radiation to follow. Then without surprise, I was again in remission cancer free. My oncologist, Dr. Granger, would call me his miracle survivor. He let me know that that would have been my um, death penalty, but I'm still here. As I began living normally, still doing my yearly checkups, visiting with oncologist on August 21st, 2014, I was told I had cancer a third time, but this time it was different cancer, HER2 cancer, but on the second stage this time. However, it was on the stage two, but being it was HER2 cancer chemotherapy would be more difficult because it was very, it was three different chemotherapies. It would be, and in more expanded time. I ended up have, having a double mastectomy, bilateral reconstruction, a 12 hour surgery in January 5th of 2015. I required other small surgeries to follow, but all went well with me. This is my 15 year breast cancer journey. God is good. As you can see, I stand here today to represent how beautiful life it is to live life and to thank God for giving me more years of life with my family. On October 27, I will be 50 and I feel great. Please, girls and women out there, know the importance of the breast cancer awareness, no matter the age. Do your self-examinations at home and set your appointments up for mammogram as soon as you are able to or at that age. And make sure you question your parents and genetic of genetic possibilities of cancer amongst your families so you are aware so yeah guys that's going to be it for today uh, Ms. joanne thank you for participating in this video we want to just uh, you go above and beyond for us and just we appreciate you um for every other breast cancer survivor or warrior we want to say that we are here with you today and our prayers and our thoughts we want to say thank you for all the amazing work that you do and just keep on persevering because we got this